you claimed <laughs> that to have free will, we had to be free of coercion. Right. Right. Now, uh, you interpret the blind machinations of physical law as coercion. Yes. I think that that is uh, wrong. Is that contradictory? Mm. Might be. Um, but, I mean, it, it, I've, circumstance I, you, you can, can certainly about, limit your choices. I, I, hate to, I hate to invoke the dictionary, right? But I think if you look at... We haven't got one in front of us. Maybe Matt's got a dictionary on hand. I think... It is, it, it is normally acceptable to talk about one person coercing another person, but it's n- you never talk about you know the the um, you know the weather coerced me into taking some action. Now, though, you may take some well, action as a result of noticing the weather and yeah. deciding how to react, but the weather doesn't coerce here's, you. Here's my interpretation. Okay. Uh, is mind control coercion? Uh, if someone... Yes. Okay. Yes. In that case, yes. Our minds are completely under coercion. No. Yes. Wait, well, there's a difference. Wait, well, hold it. My, when you say mind control, you're talking about some guy with some psychic guy powers. Some in psychic powers controlling so who's this guy? your brain, making you do stuff. So then who's this guy controlling our brains? Irrelevant to the point. Is no, that not. coercion? Is it coercion? Sure. Yes or no? Okay. Sure. There we go. But wait, <laughs> you haven't established there's a guy doing so that. So it, how it, does if if mind control it's a is mind, coercion? It's a, it's no, a thought experiment. No, what no, the hell no, are you no. talking about, the, guys? No, 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 no. I'm still talking. Hang on, Dennis. Uh, Dennis, <laughs> saying that my, saying that mind control is coercion does nothing to support your point that the blind machinations are, of physics. Are yeah, mind control and therefore coercive. They are mind control. All my, all, every desire in my, all my desires are the, re, are the result of root desires that are not my choice. But that's, they were, control, they were placed there by when you asked us, circumstance. When you Boom. asked us if mind control Done, is, co- Dennis, when you asked us if mind coercion. control is, would you stop and let me complete a sentence? You're when you going to say ask, the same thing again. When you asked us whether mind control is coercion, we said, you mean some guy going doody 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 and controlling your brain? And you said yeah. yes. That's what we're agreeing is okay, coercion fine. when you ask about mind control. Okay. And that's it. I don't know how you leap from that to, therefore, the blind machinations of the universe are mind control. It's not because the, the same blind thing at all. Where machinations the of the universe control my thoughts. But where's the guy? The, we agree that mind Fuck control is coercive because there's a no, guy. That's the only Matt, thing that's important. Go ahead. Not, go ahead. No, you're right. Go that's the point. Mind control, in the sense that we're talking about, we agree is coercion. But not because it is an influence upon the brain or the mind, but because it is a specific type of influence from a specific source. Some other intelligent conscious entity is influencing undue control over the consciousness of of the person, of the target. That is completely different from whether or not it's raining outside is an influence on me grabbing an umbrella. But I'm not talking about raining. I'm talking about your desires motivating you to do things. And those desires not being under your control. Those desires not... You had no choice in those desires. But that's not the, that's the point. It's not the same it's controlling as controlling your that, that, that is not what we were agreeing to when no, we No, no, I, I understand that. I'm wondering why you don't agree with that. Okay. Because well, coercion... Let's, let's get there, but at least... At least let's get it has past, to have a person with psychic powers to be least, coerced? Let's, at least let's get past your attempt, this, this relatively cheap attempt, to take advantage of us agreeing to one understanding of, of mind control so that you can apply that to a completely different understanding of mind control. We agree that Don't mind control is coercive because there's a guy coercing you. And this Who gets cares back, about the guy? Well, it's irrelevant. Me, for no, one, that's the only thing me for one. Um, okay, a machine why, controls your brain. Now why, you're going to ask about the machine. That's why I br- brought up this question of the word coercion in the first place. Because when we talk about coercion, I believe if you check the dictionary, you'll find it 
the word is used when some other guy is trying to manipulate your behavior. It's not a word that you apply to the blind machinations of the universe. There's it's a, just not. There's a difference between... The fact that there's a similar, act, similar event is not relevant. It matters where that event came from. There's a difference if between coercion... The definition of coercion, I'd like to hear it. I've got it. But there's a difference between coercion and influence, which is why we use the word coercion and not mm. just influence. Does coercion, coercion talk about a guy? Please, the, talk there's about an it. implication of an intelligence behind it. The act, of, <laughs> okay. the act of coercing, use of force or intimidation to obtain compliance. Force or the power to use force in gaining compliance, as by a government or police force. It, yeah. okay. Coercion... You may want to look up coerce. Ha, it has an implication of intelligence that is different from simply influence. And compliance. The universe does not have, like, you know, uh, does not have a plan to which it wants you to, uh, comply. to comply. All right. It just doesn't mean anything when you're talking about, you know, we, we react to the universe. We certainly do. But it's not there doing stuff to us to make us do certain other things. There is no coercion in order to get us to comply. It just doesn't happen. As soon as there's a guy, it's different. Um, that takes us to the thing about physical laws and programmers. You did the same sort of thing, saying that because a programmer can... Uh, can write a program and install certain drives and behaviors in it. Mm -hmm. Therefore, when certain drives and behaviors occur as a result of the blind machinations of physical law, that the blind, that the that that makes the universe a programmer. Yes. And it doesn't. Yes, it does. Again, there's no intent. Who the fuck cares about intent? Me intent is one. irrelevant. How is it irrelevant? What, if, you know, if I mean, you're not in control of your desires, then you're well, not well, in control of your desires. We'll what the hell? To, we'll have to work through this because it makes all the difference to me. What, Why? Uh, because... What's... <laughs> because... Why does the name of the guy make a difference? the name I mean, of the guy. It's not the name of the guy. It's whether there is a guy. It's whether there's intent behind it. Who yeah. cares about intent? Intent is irrelevant. Is it? Is, is, yes. Is it, is, is, if why? there is no intent, then there is no coercion. I think according to the definition of a coercion. I mean, is it, uh, I, I, um, no, I, I don't want to do something that's completely separate, but intent um, is always important in, in when we're making these decisions. It's, it's, it's the difference between um, murder and manslaughter. 